A growing wave of global support to free some 100 whales held captive here in a bay near Vladivostok in Russia's Far East. Wading into the battle to save the marine creatures, French explorer Jean-Michel Cousteau met with Russian officials. We are not here to criticize, we are here to help. We have a lot of experience elsewhere, but these people here are responsible for these animals in captivity. 11 orcas and 87 belugas have been crammed into small enclosures, which critics have dubbed whale jails. The animals were caught in autumn and were allegedly destined to be sold to China, where marine park construction is booming. Killer whales can fetch millions of euros, and Russia is one of the few countries that continue to catch and export the mammals. The issue has resulted in a row between the country's agriculture ministry, which claims the species is not under threat, and Russia's environment ministry, which has promised to begin the process of releasing the whales now that winter is over. During that period, it was impossible to release them. We would have lost them all. This job can be done now that summer's coming. Jean-Michel Cousteau and an international team of experts plan to head to the site on Saturday. But he's warned that it may take years to liberate them.